Have you ever heard the one about the man who fell down the stairs? Well, that man is about to be espresso cookie. I mean, really, look at this guy. Let me tell you a story. This creature came to my kingdom, walked on his stubby little legs to my humble cafe, so we served lattes and the like and turned immediately on his heel and left. What's more is it didn't stop there. The next day I go for a visit to the cafe. Of course I don't work at the place I simply built it so I don't visit often but lo and behold Expesso Cookie is standing before me tapping his foot. He says to me your use of light magic is barbaric. This is an insult to coffee. You should feel ashamed. Can't you hear the coffee screaming out in pain because you have drowned its flavor in milk? Meanwhile I am standing there confused in a panic. I don't know what light magic is. I don't even work at the darn place. What are the employees putting in the coffee? I'm having a crisis over this and... And he just keeps whining at me. I might wear the crown, but that doesn't mean there is a brain under it. I tell him that I don't know what kind of kingdom he thinks this is, but I assure him nothing is wrong with our coffee. He keeps flapping and crowing about how light magic is horrid and we are disgrace. I tell him if he keeps it up, we will have to escort him off the premises. And of course, being a little hipster, he refuses. I don't know what he wants at this point. Luck was in my favor however as my good friend Milk Cookie had just walked out of the cafe. The hipster looked at and screamed in primal fear. It was so loud. He is almost as good at screaming as he is at complaining. He ran away like a Scooby-Doo character. It was funny but I think it made Milk feel bad. Anyways that was my evening. Just remember it is impossible to negotiate with filthy disturbing hipsters. That's the moral of the story. Hopefully he fell down some stairs afterwards or my beginning punchline will be as pathetic as his ramblings about lightbulb magic or whatever.